Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a portable air compressor. And what's unique about this one is that you can set the PSI and then it'll turn off once it hits that number. So that's really cool. So let's unbox it right quick and take a look at it. So here is some specs and here is what it can do. Alright so the first thing we got is the accessories here. So it looks like we have an extra fuse and some adapters for the pumping. So they got a ball adapter and then uh, that maybe even looks like a balloon adapter. But anyways it's to inflate different kind of inflatables and stuff. So interesting. That's nice that they give you all this stuff. Oh, oh, here we go. This is a bonus right here, guys. Little caps that go on the uh, on the air nozzles. It has like a little indicator here. These are kind of interesting. We're definitely going to try these out. And here is the compressor itself. All right. Looks like we got a manual stuck to it. All right, so it's a little bit cheap feeling, at least the initial here. This, this little logo here is coming off. Literally. Look at that. So I guess the brand is Tiger Goods. I have a feeling Tiger Goods don't really care about their brand because the logo don't even stick. And also, I don't know if there's a film on top of this thing or what, but because there's some air bubbles and stuff in it. Yeah, there is. Okay. There we go. But then I'm just scratching it. Yeah, there is. All right. Well, that's much better. So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting design. It's like this, you know, you don't really think of it as an air compressor, I guess. And look at that, guys. It's even got a light. Pretty cool. All right, so in the back here, you've got holes here. And it's pretty decently long. I guess this is going to be more important than here. Well, that feels pretty heavy duty. And the cord seems pretty nice too, guys. I like it that, you know, they're separate and they're not combined because a lot of their compressors are combined and you kind of have to fight with it to stick them back in. I wish they would have included not this type here, but the screw type. Where you screw it on, I like those a lot better. This is, uh, feels a little cheaper, I think. But it doesn't matter, honestly. I know a lot of you guys are probably needing a compressor just for the emergency. Like, that's what I would have one in the car. Just in case I get a nail in it, I can pump it up and continue driving it, at least get home or wherever I need to to get it. And that's, the, that's why you need one. And plus to maintain your air pressure, obviously. So yeah, it looks like we have a display up here with some pluses and minus and an R. And then we have a on and off switch, looks like compressor it says, and I'm guessing maybe this one's for the light here. So, all right guys, so let's go out to the car and see how this thing works. All right guys, so we're outside and here is the air compressor. So as you can see, it's a good size. Not huge though, but you know, a little bigger than a lot of compressors, I think. Yeah, I did forget to mention, it does have like these little soft feet here. So let's go ahead and first plug it in and see what it, what is going to light up. All right, guys, so we got it plugged in. As you can see, the little numbers came up here, and it says PSI. So that's good. All right, let's see if we can push this R button and see what happens. Okay, so it just changes to a different setting. So bar, KPA, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So it's got pretty, a good amount of stuff here. That's interesting. All right, let's see if we can put this on the uh, stem here and see what happens. Oh, look at that, guys. It's showing my pressure in the tire right now. So it's 33.5 PSI. Cool. All right, let's see if we can't figure out how to set up the, uh, the shutoff. Well, let's see if it works first, I guess. You can turn the light on, on and off right here. So here's the compressor. So, so it, it, it shows you live what the pressure is as it's pumping. That's really cool. I really like that display. That's awesome. Let's see if we can figure out how to use the outer shutoff. So I'm guessing if you push these, you're probably going to set the uh, the pressure. So let me push it. Okay, there it goes. So it's starting to blink. Okay, so here you can set how much pressure you want. I think I want 38. I like to over PSI my tires just a little bit. 
for fuel economy. So I'm at 34 right now. Let's turn it on and see if it'll turn off when it gets to 38. There it goes, guys. Wow, it's pretty smart. When it hit 38, it actually pumped for a little while, so it did go down just a little bit, as you can see. That is so awesome. You can set it and forget it. All right, now that we're done with this tire, let's take this out, and actually, let's try out one of these guys here. So right now, it's showing us all the colors, green, red, and yellow. So let me go ahead and put it in. So we do have like 37 PSI in here about. Oh, there it goes. You saw that. There you go. So as the air pushes on it, the green goes up. So the green part is what moves, as you can see. All right, guys, so I've filled up all the tires, and I'm pretty satisfied. I'm actually surprised how quick it pumps. It seems to have a pretty powerful pump inside, because it literally, when the tires I pumped went from 30 to uh, 38 really fast, like literally within 30 seconds. So I'm kind of amazed how, how quick it is. And one of the things I didn't mention is that it does have like a backlight here. So at night you'll still be able to see all those numbers. And also I just noticed there's a empty and full gauge here. It's kind of cute. So it's a little bit cheesy, you know. But, you know, it's Chinese design. So things tend to get cheesy from there. But in any case, it's very functional. And I love the auto stop at a certain PSI. That is great. Um, you do have to bump up the PSI a little bit to get to the PSI you want. So... But that's okay, it's still very accurate overall. So. And it's pretty cool that it came with these little indicators here for your tires. Now the only potential problem I see with these is that if they're not good enough quality, they'll leak themselves and, you know, let air out. But in any case, I'm going to try them out and see how they work out for me. Alright guys, so overall thumbs up for this thing. If you're interested in something like this, I'll leave a link in the description. I got this on Amazon. Also guys, check out my other videos. I got a lot of reviews. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.